Hi friends, welcome to the MySQL I PHP database tutorial. In this series, we are discussing the differences between MySQL library functions with the MySQL I library function, also known as an extension. In today's video, we will be discussing MySQL underscore fetch underscore asoc, which is used to uh, extract or uh, fetch records from the resource type variable and uh, convert them into a row uh, row means uh, in a error variable i have already coded the basic that is a database connection database open executing the query in all three files the old method mysql underscore asoc new method as a pop mysql i pop method and MySQLi OOP method. I have already coded the basic. The table that I have used is contact table. In the contact table, I have four fields. That one is the ID, username, CT, and the contact. Continuing the our code and uh, revising the old method, MySQL underscore fetch underscore asoc so firstly i will be creating a row variable and writing down a math uh, function name mysql fetch underscore asoc and the argument will be the resource type variable that is a result uh, variable now we have a row variable as an array type so so simply i will be noting or displaying a row variables value uh, the first field of the table will be the first value of our array second field will be the second value third field with the third value uh, in a table second field i have that one is a u name so i will be noting down here an u name as a key of a variable array variable as i have used to fetch underscore asoc the fetch underscore asoc will store a values of a field name as a key of a array a variable name can be any either you can use a, a row or simply use a r for a record uh, displaying a second value of a row variable that one is the ct and displaying the fourth field that one is the last that is a contact saving the program and executing in a browser here you can note that all three fields value are displayed just adding a br tag for a proper output in a all three values refreshing here we can note here second field value third field value and the fourth field value name ct and a uh, contact number has been displayed success uh, have been displayed successfully shifting to the next pop method of a mysql i in that again a row as an array variable and a library function mysql i underscore fetch underscore asoc and passing the argument of a resource type variable that one is a result in uh, every previous video I have told that uh, you have to simply change a library function with an i adding a i the all method was having a library function mysql underscore fetch underscore asoc in a new mysql i version we have to write mysql i underscore fetch underscore asoc in as a pop method if you are using pop method not in if you are using a op method so again we have an array variable uh, for just saving the time copying the displaying block and i have paste that saving the pro save the program and executing the same you can note here the url fetch underscore asoc sorry uh, asoc underscore pop a record the first record has been displayed for the second record but obvious we have to not the block again that i have already discussed in a mysql 
PHP database tutorial for displaying the old records or remaining records you have to use any of the loop if you are using for loop or while loop it is up to you but without loop it is impossible to display all records now the last method which one is an op method in that again array variable as uh, named as a row and result variable will be an object and fetch underscore asoc will be the method to extract the record from the resource type variable note that we are not writing a server connection name but we are no noting or writing a resource variable name that is a result and fetch underscore asoc will be the method not the property or a member variable and in last displaying the row variable and executing the program you can note here again the url is asoc underscore oop and the record has been successfully displayed so this was uh, about fetch underscore asoc the remaining library function to display the record that are fetch underscore row fetch underscore array will be discussed in the next later videos of a uh, series if you like the videos please subscribe the channel and share with your friends in this video uh, not enough for this video and thank you very much for watching the